put their lives on the line every day during the battle against COVID-19. And sadly, though, hundreds of nurses have died. Tonight, they're being remembered across the country. NBC Barry Shaw Heard went to one of the many memorials in the East Bay, where mourning came with a message. Janine Piesti Ponder worked as a nurse here at Sutter Alta Bates Medical Center in Oakland. She died from COVID-19 last July. Tonight, she is being honored. Janine Piesti Ponder. She is one of some 400 nurses remembered tonight at the Oakland Coliseum as part of a nationwide tribute to nurses who died during the pandemic. It's heartbreaking that all of these deaths could have been prevented. We're one and a half years into this pandemic, and still we have nurses dying. As nurses were sitting socially distanced in their cars, listening to the names of their colleagues who passed away from the virus, similar demonstrations were taking place all over the country. In Washington, D.C., hundreds of shoes were placed near the White House, the nurses' union demanding that the Biden administration implement safety measures for hospital workers on the front lines. But we need tools, and we weren't given them, and we're still having to fight for them, and nurses continue to die. Here in the Bay Area, four nurses lost their lives to the virus, but those who came out tonight believes there could be more. Jeff Bumbach. They didn't have to die. If we had equipment and, and uh, the government was forthcoming, uh, this didn't have to happen like this. As these nurses care for COVID patients day in and day out, they have to fight the virus at home. My 96-year-old grandmother is still alive, beat COVID, got it from her, her caregiver. But my uncle, 70 years old, wasn't so lucky and he's passed away. These nurses are hoping government officials will step in to provide better protection to help make it safer for them in the future. In Oakland, Charles Heard, NBC Bay Area News.